Hi, today's topic is, people who have been walked in on during sex, what are your horror stories? Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the video. Had sex with my then girlfriend, during the act I felt something strange on my ball sack, while I was on top of her. The room was relatively dark so I didn't see something. I thought it's her, that she is grabbing it, but then I realized that both her hands were on my arms, so something was doing something with my sack. And before I could even ask her anything I heard aloud, wow, her dog entered the room and licked parts of my body that shouldn't be licked by a dog. I have two young kids. My wife and I thought that we had mastered the art of quick and quiet love making. We'll put a movie on for them. Go upstairs, lock the door, and get after it. Well one time we forgot to lock the door, my wife was on top humping away, and I opened my eyes to see my son right next to our bed at eye level with me. He just said daddy. Can we have a snack he left the room as innocently as he entered. Or at least I hope. It's also possible that we scarred him for life. Now we give them snacks first too. Was in my BF's bedroom with the door shut. I thought it was locked. He was playing Metallica kinda loud to drown out any noises we might make. Early 90s. His mum walked in to complain about the music and caught him halfway in the act. Um. Of taking my virginity. She mumbled an apology and quickly turned and left the room closing the door behind her. He wanted to continue, but I ended it for the day, out of embarrassment. It was very awkward when we emerged from the bedroom a little while later for him to take me home. We completed the act a couple days later when we skipped school while no one was home. Was having sex with my then girlfriend back in high school. Mum walked in to, to tell us that dinner is ready. Awkward, but she never interrupted us again. If you're ever caught in the act of having the sex, you should keep going. Don't stop. Because if you stop, you just got caught having sex and that's weird. If you keep going, the person that caught you is weird BC they saw people having sex and kept watching. We were in HS and my family was moving away. Both being virgins, I had it built up on my head that my boyfriend and I needed some grand Judy Bloom like send off. Not 30 seconds into the deed, his devout Catholic mum came home early and caught us. He and I hopped apart like we were spring loaded, while we dressed. She stood there and lectured us about saving it for marriage. Yada yada, I walked three miles home and moved across the country the next day. Never spoke again. Sorry. Zed. I think I was a teen 19 when it happened. I was at my GF's house watching a movie on her laptop. We had a blanket covering us while cuddling. But we were actually stealthily. Bang. Bang. Suddenly her dad walks in, and starts talking to us about dinner or something. We played it cool and stopped for a minute and don't think he noticed. Luckily he just walked back out after he was done talking, but holy shit that was a close one. We were at his parents' house engaged in some early morning fun and his mum walked into the room to grab our laundry, because she thought it would be a nice thing to do. We were just visiting, we were being really quiet, for obvious reasons, and it was like 5.30 in the morning and she assumed we were sleeping. We weren't under the blankets so, she got an eyeful. She was definitely a lot more mortified than we were, although I was super embarrassed. My boyfriend just kind of laughed it off though, he was unfazed. When I went downstairs for coffee she just pretended like nothing happened so I did too. It was never spoken of between any of us and that's just how I liked it. Went down on the ex-wife, her kid came in wanting a sandwich mind you it was late at night and thought the door was locked and the next day he asked what we were doing and wanted to know all about our life. A few years ago, my e-girlfriend was riding me at the couch right in the middle of her room. Suddenly her brother walks in, and looks at us in shock. The problem was that we were fully naked. It was in the middle of the day and there was nothing like a blank to cover up. Felt like you were presented for the whole world to see. He quickly apologized and left. But that was quite embarrassing. Was hanging out with a girl I met at the bar. We'd been drinking and went back to her house. She had told me that she'd been divorced. No big deal. Well come to find out her roommate was her ex-husband. Whilst giving her oral, he opens the door and politely asks me to move my truck so he can go to the store. Not the most horrific story, but no further sexual escapades were had. Younger sister walked in just as we were hitting out stride. She was old enough to understand exactly what was going on, but had never actually seen it before. Couldn't keep her mouth shut. Oh my god. Luckily we were able to scramble and get some clothes on before dad came bounding up the stairs. Needless to say, I was kicked out immediately and never allowed in that house again. Me and my girlfriend, now wife, were in her bedroom. 
spinning under a blanket. Things got heavy and I slipped it in from behind. Just as I was about to arrive, her mom walks in with a basket of washing. She put her load away and so did I. After she left, my girlfriend nearly wet herself laughing. Apparently I have an excellent poker face. When I was a teenager, my GF's mum walked in on me going down on her daughter. That was weird. But nothing was said. The mother just ran away horrified. When I was in high school, my girlfriend and I were messing around. Unbeknownst to us the door to the room wasn't locked. I had my face buried in her downstairs mix up and in walks her dad. All I heard was him yelling something about you know what they're doing in there and then 30 minutes later I sat next to him at dinner. Needless to say I wasn't all that hungry. My mum walked in on me as a teenager with a particularly talkative female friend, who owns this pussy. Mum bursts in dead I silence it better not be you. I've never been able to frick in my parents house since. There was a night earlier this year where me and my wife thought our kids were in a dead sleep. Because we waited a good hour after they went to bed to initiate anything. We start checking the rooms to make sure they were asleep and they were. So we start going at it and I'm eating her out and the oldest son is standing at our doorway staring. My initial reaction was to jump up and head to the bathroom and play it off like I had to get up and use it. All I hear in the background from our 7 year old is, Why was daddy's head down by your pee pee mummy? To this day when it's bedtime he don't come out of his room. It's bad to the point we found pee bottles on occasion. I think we might need to start therapy for him. Girl I dated in HS was a 7th day Adventist. And therefore hyper religious and she lived with her aunt. Her grandma would regularly visit since her aunt had to work weekend a lot. Well one day I had snuck over while her aunt was at work. We were fooling around in her room when we hear the door open and shut. Followed by her grandma's voice booming through the house. Well in classic style she shoved me into the closet half naked. Slipped her PJs on and Kami walked into the other room. I silently waited for what seemed like an hour. But was more likely like two minutes. She rushes back into her room and pulls me into the living room. Her GMA had stepped back outside to get something from the car. She told me to go out the back. But of all times the freaking door got stuck and her GMA was coming back into the house. Well essentially she played keep away with her hiding me behind the kitchen, living room divide, until she got a chance to let me into the garage where she claimed she had dirty clothes washing. Her grandma seemed to believe her, but I quickly realized I didn't have my keys, wallet or even freaking socks. Just my pants shirt and jacket. Well my ex had to go back into her room. Quietly gather my things unfortunately she did not realize I forgot my socks to so I went sockless. And stealthily deliver them to me. I heard her grandma asking suspicious questions. But ignored them and went out the side door scot free or so I thought. Maybe 20 minutes down the road my ex texted me simply saying my GMA knew it was you here cause apparently. Even though she is old. She did recognize my car parked only one house down. This was back in college. I was dating a woman who I typically saw on the weekends. My roommate, now one of my best friends, was out for whatever reason and my girlfriend was over. So naturally, things happened. Roommate is a socially awkward guy who is sometimes oblivious to even the strongest of hints. So before we got down to it, we put a sock on the door thinking that it should be enough. Roommate comes walking up the stairs, it was a college townhouse living situation, to our room, completely ignored the sock on the door and walked right in as we scrambled to cover up. He took one look at us and froze in place. Then we screamed for him to go. He ran down the stairs and out of the house literally screaming. My first boyfriend in high school. It was a half day of school so we went home to bump uglies. We were horny teenagers that figured out how parts fit together. We barely made it in the front door before we got back naked on the floor. It was very loud. We had already memorized a favorite positions in a pocket karma sutra. We probably looked like we were peensters on set. My mother had also come home early. We didn't hear the car, or the door unlock, or her standing there in complete shock. She was trying to get our attention and it wasn't until we were about to change positions that we saw her. She told us to get dressed and that she needed to talk to both of us. She sat us down and very calmly asked us about our birth control. She told me she would make an appointment at the doctor to get me started on the pill. She gave us both hugs and I love you but, you need to keep this in your bedroom. She then explained that it's disrespectful to the people you live with to put them in a situation like this as well. I think we went out to eat together afterwards or something I don't really remember. This first boyfriend lasted through the better part of high school and we are still distant friends. My mother looks at him like a son she never had. He still remembers her to tell her happy mother's day every year and her birthday. 
me and my wife were having the sex and my daughter walked in, and then ran back out. She looked a little shaken so we started talking to her asked her what did she see. She started stuttering and said butt cheeks. I have two stories, due to some fallbacks in our respective employment and careers my ex-wife and I had to move back into my parents house. It was a large house so it wasn't that much of a hassle. The first time involved a friend of mine coming over to go see a film at the theater. My ex-wife was going out with her friends so we were both getting ready in my room she decided while I was getting dressed would be a great time for a BJ. I'm not going to complain stop her so I'm sitting in the end of the bed and she is going to town. Unannounced to us. My friend had shown up and was let into the house by my younger sister who was home. He heads upstairs. Dose the rude short knock and immediately open the door. My ex dives to the floor and I try to pull up my pants and cover the best I can. He for sure knows what was happening and says hey we have to get going the film is starting soon he closes the door and we both finish getting dressed. I walk her downstairs and give her a kiss goodbye as she leaves to go out with her friends. I head back up to my room and my buddy is in there sniffing like he smells something. He turns to me and says it smells like an interrupted blowjob in here. The next was along the same line still in my room in my parents house. It was a Saturday morning. We woke up and decided morning sex was a great idea. My parents had decided to make breakfast for everyone that morning and we are spooning with her in front me holding her top leg up for the right angel to get in. She is facing the door. Then my dad doesn't even knock just opens the door says breakfast is ready come down and eat. He pretty much got a full frontal of my eggs with me inside her from the back. As she rapidly tried to pull the blankets up, he didn't even fully close the door as he left. Met a lady while out and about at a bar. Went back to her place and started fooling around. Knew she had a roommate, but didn't think anything of it. Clothes were shed and she left for less than one minute to run to the bathroom. During that time I hear a knock at the bedroom door and it instantly opens. Turns out her roommate is some middle-aged guy. He just stands there for a few seconds and looks at me laying on the bed in my birthday suit. Lady comes back from the RR and casually says don't freak out. It's okay and then closes the bedroom door. To this day I still don't know if she was talking to me or the roommate. Needless to say that we finished up shortly thereafter and I never visited again. In college losing my v-card. At the foot of the bed going down on her while my day drunk roommate decides he wants to play COD on my PS3. He just yells from the hall and barged right in. A well timed donkey kick meant I didn't miss a beat and he got the point. Fianke and I are having a quiet moment of early morning sexy times in her bedroom at her parents house. She's close. I'm close. Her mom walks in and makes eye contact with her daughter, says nah, German slang, sort of oh, and wake out, my girl just freezes up, I'm a dude, I kept going, my fiancé could not look her mother in the eye for a couple of days, we've been married almost 40 years now, xgfs mum walked in on her daughter blowing me, but she got away with praying for him, horny teens, late one night after watching a movie in the living room I started giving hubby a bj, it was after 1am, all of a sudden he taps my shoulder and just goes ooh ooh up, but not in the sexy way. I look up to see my 10 yo daughter standing there. X has me up against the door of our bedroom. I'm on my knees going to town on him. Then I hear a knock on the door. Literally feel the vibration. Hey, X's name. Are you up? Where's the TV remote? His little sister was over for a couple nights visiting and apparently couldn't sleep. We thought we would be safe since it was 2 am. Needless to say. The night ended there for us lol. Please subscribe if you like the video. It really helps the channel to grow. Adios.